Hi everybody, um, Mary Bacon here to teach you how to enjoy your matcha. So we um, have many options these days to enjoy your matcha. Uh, you can enjoy it hot or cold, and uh, I'm going to show you how to work our tools. Um, the first one is my favorite. This is the wire whisk, and I do want to show you it, uh, it spins when you press down on it. So all you need to do, I have my cup of hot water, and I'm just going to take out my cup of matcha scoop and put one one scoop can you see that <laughs> where am I there we go um, put my one scoop in there and then just press down and this will um, get frothed up and uh, makes a huge difference in how smooth your matcha is going to taste So then just give that a couple seconds, and um, I don't know if you can see. See, it's a nice dark, well, it's a weird color because of the orange cup, but mm, that's delicious, Straight sweet strawberry matcha. Um, the other way to enjoy it is cold. Um, this is our matcha shaker, and um, it's got the agitator on the top and the stainless steel bottom. You can um, enjoy matcha cold this way. Sweet strawberry matcha, by the way, is fantastic in lemonade. Um, you can put the vanilla in orange juice. You can actually put the strawberry in orange juice. There's just so many combinations. Um, when we get the coconut matcha, it is divine in pineapple juice. Just trust me on that. Um, there's also a little storage in the bottom. So if you're doing protein shakes or anything like that, um, put the protein shake in here, put the matcha in here. And then if you're doing like almond milk or juice or whatever you're mixing that with, put this in here and it's good to go. Um, and you can mix it up later. So um, so this is, this is perfect for cold matcha. And uh, the third way is with the traditional bowl and whisk, which is how it's done in Japanese tea houses. And for this, you take the bamboo whisk and the bowl, which we sell, and you're going to whisk. You're supposed to write a Z, so don't... If you go in circles, you know, it'll swirl outside. Um, if you make the Z pattern, it'll stay in the bowl, and it makes it very nice, very smooth. And then you drink it right out of the bowl. If you're buying uh, ceremonial matcha, I actually do advise this, because ceremonial matcha is really supposed to be a super smooth, delicious uh, form of matcha, more for the tea ceremony meditations, um, which are definitely um, enhanced by having the more traditional tools. Um, I personally drink matcha for the energy boost and the health benefits and uh so I don't worry about as worry about that as much I do I have it because the whisk is new and I wanted my matcha before the whisk was invented this one so uh this is actually my favorite way to make my everyday matcha hot um and I've started drinking it cold since it got uh, warmer outside and loving it so um thanks for watching and those are our three matcha tools uh ways to enjoy your matcha and I hope you uh Hope you enjoyed that.